All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So I'm going to make a video today about an IFBB Pro Bodybuilder that can still pull off the vacuum pose. Now, obviously, today there's a ton of hype behind the classic physique division, and everyone's going back to the aesthetic look of bodybuilding. Everybody appreciates, you know, the old school posing, the vacuum pose, the crucifix pose, the mantis pose, all these great things that are considered to be classic or golden or aesthetic. And these are a lot of things that we don't really see in men's open bodybuilding or the big boys, so to speak. So there's a men's open IFBB pro bodybuilder that I follow on Instagram that I see regularly um, doing posing practice and frequently updating um, the fact that he can pull off a vacuum. And it's one of the things that he pays a lot of attention to. Um, and he clearly puts a lot of time into and has a lot of pride um, behind the fact that he can actually hit a vacuum pose. So Brad is about five foot nine and his competition weight is between 225 and 235 on stage or between 102.1 and 106.6 kilograms. So a relatively heavy bodybuilder would be pulling off a vacuum pose, not a 212 guy, certainly not a classic physique weight class type of guy. Um, a lot of those guys are under 200 pounds. So again, I think it's very impressive that he can actually hit a vacuum pose. I definitely want to give him props in this video because he's one of the few bodybuilders I think can pull it off and he can pull it off very, very well. And I think that's due to a combination of a number of things. Number one, the fact that he clearly appreciates, you know, the aesthetics of the vacuum pose and puts a lot of time and consistency and effort into practicing that pose. So Brad turned pro back in 2013 at the NPC Nationals where he earned his pro card. And since then, he's competed a multitude of times, most recently being the 2017 Frigno Legacy Pro where he placed outside of the top five. Last year, he placed ninth at the Frigno Legacy. He also has a 16th place finish at the 2015 Mr. Olympia, and probably his best placing will be the second place finish at the Frigno Legacy back in 2014, which is not too shabby to get second place at a major pro show in his rookie year um, right off the bat. So I think this guy has a ton of potential. Again, he's only been competing as a pro since 2014. It's so only a couple of years of competing under his belt um, in the pro leagues, but I definitely see a lot of potential for this guy. Um, I, don't, I don't know if he would be able to get down to the classic physique weight class or not, but I think it's very refreshing to see a men's open pro bodybuilder that places so much emphasis and focus on his posing, specifically the vacuum and keeping his waist down. I mean, he posts a ton of progress pictures where he's very, very um, detail oriented in terms of his progress. He looks for every little detail, slow progression over time. He's not trying to get too big too quickly. Um, he seems to be a big believer in this kind of slow, gradual progression um, and acquiring more details. So I just wanted to give a shout out to this guy. I think he's an incredible bodybuilder. I think his vacuum looks incredible. And again, it's just a rare sight to see. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this guy's physique. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.